The simplest way to draw text to a graphical window is with a bitmap font, where all the characters are pre-drawn and simply copied to the window as sprites. C strings are a series of bytes representing the ASCII characters. Only the characters from 33 to 126 are visible, so we need 94 character sprites. You could create them as separate sprites, but I prefer to compile them into a 10x10 grid in a single image. This font t-type holds the width and height of the characters, the pixel data, and an array of 94 sprites, which will all point to their section of that pixel data. Here's the function to load the font. We load the image, which is a 10x10 grid, so individual characters are one tenth of the total width and height. We allocate enough memory for the 94 character sprites, then loop 94 times. We set each character sprite to point to the next part of the allocated pixel memory and get the coordinates within the font image where this character resides. Then we copy each row of pixels for this character from the font image to its section of the font memory. Now we've got all the characters packed into a single large allocator block of memory, and each character has a standard sprite structure pointing to its section within that memory. When drawing the characters, we take in a standard C string and go through character by character until we reach the null byte at the end. We switch on the character, handling a space by adding to X, and a new line by resetting X and subtracting the character height from Y. If we didn't handle it as a special character, we subtract the ASCII number of the first visible character, and if the result is in the range of 0 to 93, then it's one of our visible characters, so we blit the sprite and increase X by the character width. With that, we can load a font and draw fixed width and height characters. It's not that pretty, but it's easy. Without too much extra effort though, we can make it look much better. I've created a folder by the name of the font, and it contains the font bitmap called font.bimp, and a file called properties.txt which will soon contain information about characters in the font. Our load function will just take the name of the font folder and will automatically load the bitmap and properties files within it. The first feature we'll add is to trim each character of excess pixels on all sides. So we allocate the maximum amount of memory our characters could need, then loop through all 94 characters, scanning the rows and columns from the outside in to find where the first opaque pixels are. Now we have the dimensions of this character, we copy over just the opaque subregion of pixels. After trimming, we can reallock our font pixel memory to the actual size required. There's no guarantee that the new pointer will be in the same place, so we need to loop through our character sprites to set their pixel pointers relative to the font's pixel memory. Now that each character is trimmed and has its own width and height, the font needs a width for spaces and a line height. Some characters also need descent, how far down they should be drawn. P, Q, G, and so on all descend below the baseline. Apostrophe, dash, and such hover above the line, and a negative descent will serve for them. Currently this is the only per character property I need, but I've written this code in a way that makes it easy to add other character properties as you see fit. In the font structure I've added this array for the descent of each character, along with ints for line height and space width. So, after loading the font bitmap we read properties.txt. Each line starts with the character whose properties we're editing, a space, then the letter D for descent, and the number of pixels. Other properties can easily be added here. If the first character on a line is a space, then it's aligned with the font properties, space width and line height. This is all standard C string navigation, so I'll cover it in more depth in the text version of this tutorial. Now we've got the font image loaded, we just need to update the drawing code. So, when drawing a character, we subtract the character's descent from Y, and add the character's width plus 1 to X rather than the same width for every character. We also use the font's space width and line height as expected. With that, we've got some pretty decent looking text drawing to the screen. All of the code from this video is available to download at the text version of this tutorial, linked below. In upcoming tutorials, I'll show you how to get started programming on Linux, including setting up VS Code and opening a graphical window with X11. I'll also show you how to program pixel-perfect collisions in a 2D platformer. Cheers!